Okay. This is not the usual my food stuff. What you're looking at here is of course uh, the infamous three-in-one tool from Wangshang Machine Tool Factory in China. One of the early ones. Um, I bought this primarily because I uh, was curious about the build quality and uh, I saw that there's a potential to install an ELS to see whether this would transform this machine, which I think it will. And also to show others that this is how you, or what you, uh, at least one of the things you can do with this, this type of machine. It's not having a gearbox, it can be suited for an application like an ELS. Um, this particular machine was sold in Norway uh, here as a, a Smarty 3-in-1 tool, not a Smithy. This is of course a CB1220, I think it's called. The Smithy, which is of course then a, an AT300 from Huangshan Machine Tool Factory originally. The one with the short table, the long table is really not that uh, much to strive for because uh, I think it's unwieldy and uh, tends to be, um, well, it, it's too long for the supporting. So I think this is okay. Um, this has been subject to damage after a, um, I mean, the machine tipped over, so it was really uh, a quite cheap purchase for me. Uh, anyway, uh, it'll be nice to see, I think, um, or <laughs> be exciting to see whether or not this can be, or how accurate it really is and how practical. I think also that I will uh, switch out the, the motor on this one. Uh, not primarily because I want higher speeds, but because I want a little bit more strength. And I would also seek to improve this uh, here by uh, mounting the milling head on a rail, or two rails, so I can get it out of the way and also further in, uh, inwards on the machine or to the right. So I will have supports on the, instead of the tailstock mount support, so it will be a bridge type construction. At least that's the plan. Uh, this having no um, apron, of course, this uh, might lead me to exchange uh, this for a for a lead screw with two knots. Also, as you can see, it's, it has the what's called Cosmoline, at least uh, the rust prevention still on it, even though the machine is, I think, uh, way into 30 years almost since it's been sold here, if not more. So it's uh, hardly used, really, uh, at least used in the, in, the, in the form you see it here, until it tipped over. And for those of us who didn't know how this was put on, it just slides off. So I just have jacked it up. Now, nothing more than that, just slides off. I am going to do a partial teardown anyway, or maybe a full. Um, wanting to place the milling head a bit further over here. I'm not certain whether I will keep this or move the entire thing over. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I want to disassemble everything uh, to get it down so that I can move, move around things and then install the ELS. I don't think I'll repaint, I think it'll be like it is, but of course I'll get rid of all this rust prevention. <clears throat> and beware when you unscrew this from the track here, so to speak, all these small balls come out. So this is a kind of a, a ball race. And uh, it might be that this bearing is gone. Sounds out to me at least. 
So underside here shows uh, some scraping. I'll have a look at that afterwards. Um, you can clearly see the quite short knot here, which I will try to improve even though this has, uh, I think, some kind of adjustment. No, it's just slotted. Yeah, here it is adjustable. But anyway, I think I'll make that a little bit longer. So, uh, and then get rid of all this. And this is the saddle. I think I will improve it by having two knots here instead of just the one that uh, is original. So here, at least might be, this is at least connected to this here. Be aware that you will get cut when you encounter such holes that are need not deburred. <laughs> uh, budget machine, all I can say. So here I am with the bed, finally at least managed today. Uh, so then uh, I can me start measuring on the bed itself. Wanted to take everything apart, uh, everything off the bed, so I can be able to measure the bed. So now de resting and cleaning and that uh, is my first task on the bed and then measurements and uh, managed in um, three hours and now it's almost 11 o'clock i mean 11 pm up here i can easily be full by the time so uh, 